Ladies and gentlemen, in my video I will tell you about Searches Network Browser Hijacker. It specifically attacks uh, Mac computers. And in this particular example I notice Searches Network Hijacker to be attacking Google Chrome browser. Uh, at first glance it looks like uh, Safari is free of Searches Network, however it's infected by some prudent search.com which is pretty much the same in its design so let's deal with searches network browser hijacker when we submit some search queries in the suggested box we notice that the uh, redirection takes place through searches.network website which uh, obviously is a typical browser hijacker because later on the results are delivered by Bing.com. We do not want to say anything negative about Bing, but the problem is that it's not our choice to use Bing as the default search engine. So obviously searches.network takes part in a redirection of our search queries through Bing search. Now, again, this problem, I believe, needs to be immediately fixed. First of all, you need to examine your available Mac applications. So if you find something suspicious in this list, uh, make sure you right-click on it and move it to the trash. However, uh, this current list doesn't show anything suspicious, in my opinion. You also need to additionally examine your available extensions. Go to the browser menu, click on More Tools and choose Extensions. Now you may find some suspicious extensions and if you find them you may uh, disable and then remove them right away. Now there is another step you need to undertake because uh, this is the uh, problem in system preferences. When that hijacker called uh, searches.network got installed it also added a special profile. So go to the system preferences, click on profiles, and you will find some of these additional profiles added. This is that points uh, us to searches.network. So we need to get rid of these profiles one at a time. You will need to provide your password for that purpose. So basically, uh, after this is all done, I also recommend that you additionally scan your Mac with Combo Cleaner and Tylars. Because Combo Cleaner will locate all other possible traces of um, malware that can be the part of your Mac. So you may get it on the website combocleaner.com download the software and start the application through your launchpad. After that, click on Start Combo Scan button to begin the research of your Mac. So this is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus and in order to review the results, uh, go to the Antivirus section and click on this uh, direct button called Review Results. So you will see the detailed list of all threads that were found during the scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. In order to um, find where this particular thread is located, go to this uh, circle that uh, says Show in Finder, and then you'll be able to uh, find this particular malicious item in the Finder and get rid of it by right-clicking on it. So let's do it once again. Let's say we want to remove this uh, malicious DMG file. So click on this button uh, and uh, then you will see it in Finder and you may right-click on it and select Move to Trash. So this is the manual way to get rid of malware from your Mac for free. Combo Cleaner has performed free scanning and now you may remove each particular malicious item for free at no cost and uh, or you may additionally get rid of all this malware 
with the premium version of Convo Cleaner Antivirus.